Alrighty, so here we've got Slabs and Beans 2. We can play it on Nintendo Switch, courtesy of the publisher. So we've got party games, so you can play all of the mini games. Um, just free play or do challenges, which is kind of cool. We have story mode. There's 15, 14, 15 levels uh, currently on the ninth level. When he plays as Bud, when he plays as Terrence. And this is a beat em up style brawling game, um, which is actually pretty cool, although it does get a bit repetitive. You've got a light attack, you have a strong attack, you have a block, and that's really the extent of your buttons. You can hit both the uh, strong and light attack together to do like a combo move if you have um, enemies that bunched up um, amongst each other, which is kind of cool. You can throw um, items and weapons. You can pick up enemies and use them as weapons, which is kind of kind of hilarious. And there's little uh, environmental puzzles you can you have to solve as well. Like you have to use teamwork to uh, get ladders down and and hit switches and things like that. So this game definitely does have its. Um, uh, emphasis on on cooperative gameplay, but the game is is just as fun playing um, single player with the computer um, acting as the second player. Though I will say the computer is not as smart and intuitive as say a second player would be, like a second human player would be. I do really appreciate the uh, voice acting. All of the dialogue is voice acted, which is really cool. Not something I was expecting going into this game. Uh, and I've never played the first game, so I can't compare that to this. Uh, but uh, this is a pretty cool game. Pick up a chair. You can, you can throw the chair. Oops. Sometimes that's the only way to, to uh, take enemies out, is throwing um, items at them, or weapons at them. Usually emphasis uh, with the bosses, I've noticed. Bosses usually have three phases. Which can honestly seem a little bit... Um, too long. <laughs> and sometimes the levels can be a little bit too long as well. Um, other times they'll be really short. Like a couple levels before this one, they're really short. And this one's kind of long. Although, <laughs> I've got a bad guy I'm throwing, I'm, I'm hitting people with. Um, oh, let me drop my bad guy. But the, uh, what I was saying is that the stages seem a lot longer when playing by yourself, um, than playing with another person. So this level, I can only imagine it seeming excruciatingly long playing in single player. Because again, the computers is not is not that good when taking out a, lar a large group of enemies with you, like when, like teamwork wise, it just isn't quite there. So, playing with other person is definitely um, what I would recommend. If you're gonna pick this game up, I recommend playing with a friend or fan member, um, just because it make the game a bit. A bit less of a 
I don't want to say a schlog because this game is actually a lot of fun, but it would just make the game a a, be a better experience. I'll put it that way. One thing I found to be a bit annoying is the uh, comical style uh, sounds when hitting um, enemies with the uh, strong attack. It's kind of old. But you'll have giant areas like this that will just have a ton of enemies, which is kind of fun. Um, but, uh, again, if you have a, l a large area with a lot of enemies and you're playing by yourself with a computer, it's just... It doesn't make these sections very much fun. It's much... Much better with a with another person. Because the other person takes a more active role when it comes to taking out the uh, enemies that are in the vicinity. Um, some of the mini games that you, that you have to play uh, are, are kind of interesting. There's a there's a uh, card game, which is kind of like the cup game. You have to find the right card and it switches it up. That was kind of difficult. Um, and then there's like an eating game where you have to eat, eat the largest um, item and get more points, which is kind of fun. Little things like that to help break up the gameplay is, is, is definitely something that um, I really enjoy about this game. And I love the fact that you can pick up enemies and use them as weapons. All those guys in the bar. I think we're going to kill them all. Oh, there we go. That'll, that'll work. These, these, these ninja guys are kind of annoying. Because they throw those... wrenches or whatever they throw... Nunchucks, maybe. But yeah, this is Slaps and Beans 2, a great brawler um, on the Switch. A game I'd recommend definitely playing. Um, so if you like the first game, you like this one, I, I'm sure. <laughs> and yeah, it's overall a great, great game. Uh, I'm going to review here. I want to thank the publisher for the opportunity. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And so is the next time. Take care and happy gaming.